My main research domain is related to advanced manufacturing technologies. I focus on the specific type of manufacturing process known as high-power laser materials processing. My research explores how to use a laser beam to do welding, cutting, drilling, engraving, micro-machining, surface engineering, and 3D printing. Recently, I've focused on laser additive manufacturing of metallic components, commonly known as laser 3D printing of metallic alloys. The first time I came close to a laser beam back in the early 1980s. Afterwards, I joined the High Power Laser Materials Processing Research Group at Imperial College. That was the beginning of my research career in laser processing. When I came back to Hong Kong and joined the PolyU, I switched my research field to cavitation corrosion, as I could only afford to buy an ultrasonic system for cavitation erosion studies. That ultrasonic system facilitated me to publish a good number of papers in this field, and for many years, I was the world-leading author in terms of the number of publications about cavitation. I was lucky enough to obtain a big grant from the ITDC, now known as ITF, to establish the first high-power laser material research center in Bali U. I was very lucky because there were new high-power lasers in the center which were unique in Hong Kong and even the mainland. With the new research equipment, our research group grew quickly. We could carry out research in many different fields, such as welding of dissimilar alloys, precision welding, nozzle design for high-pressure laser cutting, surface cladding for wear-resistant engineering surfaces, surface alloying for cavitation erosion resistance, etc. I also turned my research interest to surface treatment of biomedical implants and online monitoring of laser spot welding processes. In recognition of my contributions to laser materials processing, I was awarded a fellowship by the Laser Institute of America. Our research papers are widely referenced by the academic community working in this field. Today, I'm still tackling the challenges that we identified 10 years ago. Although 3D printing has been hailed as a transformative process for the manufacturing industry, there is still a long journey before it can be used as a process to produce reliable products with high quality at a reasonable cost. My long-term goal is to find alternative ways to do laser additive manufacturing with the aim of 3D printing critical engineering components and biomedical implants with consistent quality at high speed and reduced costs.